Making the news tonight, Governor Basio to leverage private sector partnership for economic advancement. National Orientation Agency takes sensitization campaign to cross river states. Plus, her correspondent highlights the importance of knowing one's blood pressure. Details in just Hello a there. Minute. Good to have you on NT Calabar News Highlights. I am Oba Heisen. Now the news in detail. Cross River State Governor Senator Basi Otu is of the view that his administration is committed to transforming the state to a viable investment, entrepreneurship and production hub, identifying robust private sector partnership as essential towards economic advancement. Justina Aitim reports that the governor stated this at an interactive engagement with business community and illustrious personalities in the state. Cross River, according to the state government, ranked second as one of the states in the Federation with huge socio-economic potentials, and the focus of this engagement with business community is to fashion out ways of harnessing these endowments for prosperity and development. Governor Tu says his administration is diversifying to agriculture and other key sectors to enhance internally generated revenue, stating that numerous reforms have been initiated to facilitate ease of doing business. The government as a public institution is committed to providing the infrastructural amenities and friendly regulatory regime. The private sector is the heart of business and economic master plan. In a panel session, Discussions highlight possibilities and investment opportunities that abound in the states, which local investors can exploit for profits and economic gains. I'm also glad to let you know that the business of governance has been repositioned. Now, we look at ministries, departments, and agencies while planning them, and we ask for their creative funding strategies. For the businessmen, Building a sustainable economy will require good road network and removal of certain bureaucratic bottlenecks which hinders commercial activities and growth of business. We can set up what we call cross state infrastructure company. And this company should be able to uh, have the, the means and abilities to fix our roads. I would like the Commissioner for Agri and Finance and other regulatory agencies to see how the government how to establish food processing and packaging industry. The state government has promised to rejig the transport sector to drastically reduce cost of transportation. In Calabar, Justina Etam, NTA News. The federal government, IFAD, Livelihood Improvement Family Enterprise, Niger Delta Project, and the Cross River State Government are proffering solutions to food availability in the country. This is part of activities in celebrating 2024 World Food Day. Paul Ebe was there and ran reports. With the present economic reality in Nigeria, for many homes, ensuring three square meals per day has become a Herculean task. This, if had life ND and the Cross River State Government, attributes to non-availability of food caused by climate change, inflation, and insecurity. The key stakeholders speak on measures being executed to ensure food availability and security in the state and Nigeria. If there is food and there is better life, then our future will be a happy one. The government can take up and be serious you know, in investing in human de uh, development, capacity buildings, and providing uh, funds for research and development, it will go a long way to boost all the, the policies that um, have been put in place. And 
we'll be, we'll, uh, we'll be able to solve this uh, problem of hunger. What our governor, Senator Pinsba, said that you do is beginning to drive is the idea of commercial agriculture so that we can have surplus food and reduce the, the whole incidence of high food inflation. At least we can curb it to a certain extent in Cross River State. Um, apart from that, with commercial agriculture, you can scale, you can employ people. It creates more jobs, it creates wealth. It increases the amount of disposable income in the hands of people. With the 2024 World Food Day tagged, right to food for a better life and a better future, other stakeholders also comment on improving agricultural practices, from subsistence to mechanized and commercial agriculture, to create jobs and bring development. We have a visionary governor, proactive commissioner, and committed stakeholders. So let us join hands to unearth our rich and cultural potentials and end hunger today and tomorrow. The right to food goes beyond ensuring that individuals have enough food to survive. It also encompasses the right to access nutrition, culturally appropriate food. The panel of discussion and visit to the exhibition stand all shows the importance of investing in agriculture as awards were equally presented to deserving stakeholders in the agricultural sector. In Calabar, Paul Abel, NGA News. With the objective of sensitizing the populace on policies and programs of the federal government, the National Orientation Agency Cross River State has commenced sensitization on national anthem and national value charter in Cross River State. Maureen Leo Ajam was there and our reports. Engaging stakeholders and the Cross River State populace on a sensitization program on national values charter and new national anthem in Calabar, the Director General of the agency, represented by the Director of Orientation Behavioral Modification, urged Nigerians to sing the national anthem with pride and conviction as part of collective movement for national progress. She said the Federal Executive Council has mandated that the first stanza of the anthem be rendered at official functions, while the three stanzas should be for special occasions such as Independence Day, Democracy Day celebrations, among others. The third stanza, she says, has been adopted as the new national prayer to further inspire unity and patriotism among Nigerians. Now, who is the Nigerian? What makes a Nigeria? I also believe that there's need for us to build Nigerians before Nigeria. And by doing that, that values that has not been that has been eroded, we'll be able to inculcate them in our children, in our siblings, in our families, communities and the country. The Cross River State Director National Orientation Agency, Ibo Otu, gives insight on the demands of the National Values Charter. Now the government is also pledging loyalty seven for seven with the citizens of the nation. We give them what they want, they give us what we want. So that is what it is. That is that National Charter you're hearing about. This is the reaction of participants at the sensitization program. It is a good thing for us to cooperate with government. On the part of government, they are doing their best. I'm saying they are doing their best because without that effort, there would not have been need for this interactive session for where people begin to air their grievances, to air their opinion and from which the agency now take back to the government of what messages they have heard around here. So to me, it's a good development. The event, which just commenced in Calabar, is expected to be carried out across all the local government areas of the state and is featuring advocacy visit, press conference, school visitation, roadshow and rally, social media campaigns, stakeholders engagement and town hall meeting. National Orientation Agency is equally reminding everyone that change begins with me. In Calabar, Maureen Leo, Ajom, and in news. To join us in our news, 
in this studio is a clinical specialist and manager of Aruba Specialist Hospital, Calabar, a partner of Gopin Africa, who will be throwing more light on their breast cancer awareness campaign here in the state. Dr. Ntamu Sipren, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Um, Doctor, um, we'd like to know what the team for this year uh, breast cancer awareness campaign is all about. Okay, so the team for this year's uh, breast cancer awareness campaign is better than one. Uh, what that means is that no one should face breast cancer alone. Every voice, every extra hands that have joined against the fight of breast cancer brings us closer to victory against uh, breast cancer. Okay. For this year, a whole lot of hospitals, both uh, public hospitals and private hospitals, uh, with Aruba Specialist Hospital inclusive, are all collapsing structure to fight against breast cancer on the 19th of October 2024. Aruba Specialist, uh, Specialist Hospital has mobilized resources that will come at the municipal garden on the 19th of October to, to do free screening for breast cancer uh, as well as cervical cancer and prostate cancer. And our target is to screen uh, 1,000 uh, cross variants for these uh, diseases I've mentioned. We will not take chances, we will leave no stone on turn to make sure cross variants have free health services on the 19th of October. So, I will advise cross variants to come out and uh, make use of this opportunity to know the status of their breasts, the status of their cervix, the status of their prostate. Okay, Doctor, are there a set of people you are targeting in this um, awareness breast cancer campaign? Yes, we are targeting um, men and women of 18 years and above. You know, before now, uh, we used to see cases of breast cancer in the old people from 50 years to 70 years. But I tell you, uh, now the case is different. We see breast cancers in the, in the younger um, ages as well. Just last year, I witnessed a 23 year old uh, lady who just got married and uh, she died of advanced uh, breast cancer. So the, the young are not uh, left out. That's why we are targeting people from 18 years and above. That's all we'd like to thank you for joining us in our studio tonight to um, uh, create this awareness to Nigerians on the dangers of uh, breast cancer and post treat. News continue after the break. Are you looking for a secured environment with good parking space and a natural ambience? Then look no further. NTA Colorbar Entertainment Ground has got you covered for marriages, parties, and all kinds of events. Have an event at NTA Colorbar Entertainment Ground? You stand a chance to get a discounted rate for your event coverage. For bookings, please call Jane 0806-353-3069. Celebrate your events at NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground. NTA Calabar, the station for the people. NTA Calabar presents Obi Utube in collaboration with Apalak. Obi Utube showing on NTA Calabar every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. For sponsorship, please call 
Siri, 0813-676-7207 or Jen, 0806-353-3069. This is Two Smile Hotel and Suite, giving you the best of hospitalities under a well-secured environment with reliable power supply. Come, savour the aura of royal treatment. Let's pamper you for a while with exotic drinks from our exquisite bar, continental and African dishes in our homely restaurant. Classy and spacious rooms ensuing lasting comfort. We've got the luxury hosting you and your guests in Queensley Conferences. Truly an indelible impression. To smile. Exclusive access to unique experience. Good to know you are still there. Uh, we'll be joining uh, Nurse Linda Job, who is also um, a staff of Go Pink Africa, who will be throwing more lights on what Go Pink Africa is all about and the awareness campaign. Good to have you on NT Calabar Studio. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Dr. Linda, we'd like to know what is Go Pink Africa all about? Go Pink Africa is all about um, a good number of people coming together to fight against cancer. For this year, we are actually working on doing it with other teams from other countries. That is why it is better than one. And it's no more a Go Pink Day, it's now Go Pink Africa. Okay, now Slinda, um, what impact has this sensitization campaign had on the people so far at the state and at the national level? At the state and national and national level, we've been able to pick out a quite number of people who have suffered breast cancer and we've been able to take out the stigmatization that has been um, attached to people that have breast cancer. So we've made the whole world to know about breast cancer, we've created awareness and we've made them to understand that cervical cancer can actually achieve anybody, can actually affect anybody. It's not just for the old people, then it was meant to be, oh, breast cancer only affects the aged. Go Pink Africa, how long has it been in existence? Since 2020. Thank you very much, Nurse Linda. That's the much we can take. Nurse Linda has thrown more light on the awareness campaign. That's the much we can take from our news highlight. Thank you and have a lovely day ahead.